All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna be going over the seven most important things that I learned in my electrical apprenticeship. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. The first thing is to look ahead. Um, so right when you start out being an electrician, you're gonna be probably standing around for a little bit. People are gonna be showing you guys what to do. Um, so you need to be looking ahead to the next thing. So like what that means is if someone is showing you how to install something, look for the next part to hand them, look for the next tool that they're gonna need. Um, obviously that's gonna take a little bit of time to understand as you learn, um, but once you get the hang of it, it's gonna be really helpful. They're gonna really appreciate that. So always be looking ahead for the next step and how to help someone out, um, whether that be handing them a wrench or something like that. Um, number two is ask questions until you are confident. And so what that means is uh, let me just give you a scenario. One time I was uh, I was told to do something and I didn't understand um, I didn't understand what I was supposed to be doing and I was basically driving this aerial lift around just completely in the wrong spot and this guy was like yelling at me and that's when he told me you need to ask questions um, until you understand. So that really really helped me out and I'm really glad that that happened to me. Um, so that's really helped me out um, to ask questions until I understand something. So if someone explains something to you and you don't understand it, ask them again, say, hey, I didn't understand this specific part. Can you go over that one more time? And then say, you don't understand it the second time, say, can, I still don't get it. Can you, I just wanna make sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Can you help me out with that? And it usually works out really well. Um, so just ask questions until you understand completely what you're supposed to be doing. Number three, um, sometimes you're just going to have crappy bosses. I'm just going to tell it to you straight up. So sometimes, whether you're in your apprenticeship, maybe you're forced to work at a company or you're just at a good a good company that um, has constant work for you, so you put up with crappy bosses for a while or you're just trying to get your apprenticeship done or something like that. Um, there's going to be a ton of crappy bosses out there. Um, well, not the, I'm not going to say a ton, but there is crappy bosses out there and you're just going to sometimes be stuck with them for a while, unfortunately. Which leads me into number four. There's gonna be some crappy coworkers out there, folks. Let me just tell you. Um, whether that be people with like drinking problems, anger problems, people just don't know how to work together as a team, people that are just old and cranky. It's just what it is. No way to unavoid that. Um, but sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll end up with a really great crew and you'll have literally about no problems. Um, so sometimes you just get the best and sometimes you don't. So that's just one of them. You're just gonna have to deal with crappy workers as an electrician, dealing with other trades as well. Maybe plumbers, maybe tile people, maybe uh, just construction workers. Um, any, any type of, any, anyone in any type of trade can suck. Um, and just have bad attitudes and ruin your day. But anyways, keep on trucking on to number five. Sometimes it's just rough and you gotta grind. So that one's pretty straightforward. Um, sometimes you're not gonna wanna do it. Sometimes you're gonna wanna quit. But if you take it one day at a time, you're gonna be able to make it. You're gonna be able to get to the end of the journey, get to your journeyman's uh, exam, get your to your journeyman license, and then things are gonna get a lot better from there. Which leads me into number six, so I just kind of skipped a step. It does get better. You're gonna start out as an apprentice. You're going to be doing a lot of the grunt work. You're going to be, you know, it's gonna be rough when you start out. Sometimes you'll luck out and you'll get a really good company that has uh, laborers and stuff like that. So you're not gonna be like digging. You're not gonna be carrying stuff back and forth. So if you luck out, you will get a company and you will just be doing electrical work. That is the goal. That's what you're in an apprenticeship for, but sometimes you do have to, like I said, lift stuff, dig stuff, and uh, just know that it gets better. And as soon as you're on the bottom of the pole, someone else gets hired below you that's newer, maybe with less experience, you're gonna move up on the pole and then they're gonna be doing the stuff probably more than you will. So um, there is kind of like a hierarchy, unfortunately, but it does get better. And once you hit that journeyman baby, let me tell you, it's super sweet. Um, which leads me into my last point, number seven. It is worth it. Um, looking back, I don't regret any of it. 
Um, it's been a really great job. It's been a really great career. Um, getting paid to learn is great. Um, lots of money, lots of people that you can help out, family members and stuff like that. Someone's always going to need electrical work. So there's a lot, a lot of benefits. And also working for the union, um, there is just tons of benefits, lots more money, lots more benefits, lots more pay or money. Um, so um, yeah, just lots of great, great, great things. It's going to be worth it if this is something that you're looking into. So I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, those are just some of the things. Hopefully this helped you out, guys. Just giving this to you straight. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next video. And hopefully this helps you out. Um, anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Check the description down below for anything else. Hit that notification bell. Love to see you guys back in the next video. And uh, I mean... Yeah, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams. And lastly, I do have a couple stickers here. We got the holographic uh, rainbow one and the uh, metal uh, background one that looks like aluminum. So if you guys are interested in some of these, send me a message on Instagram or something. I can send you these out for a couple bucks. Um, so that'd be great if you guys want to support the channel in that way. Anyways, that's all our time for today. Thank you so much for yours. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.